You got it? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I just thought I could do a quick video. Now, let's say you've just bought a GS or you've bought something that's got the uh, BMW's cradle um, and you're not sure which one to get, whether to get a navigator, a sat nav, or whether to get a cradle or use your phone, for example. There are loads of other videos. If you want to go watch ones where they go through all the menus on all of them, there's loads online. What this is really is if you want a very quick video about which one to get, this is it. So there are three reasons why I think that you should get that, which is the connected ride cradle over the BMW Navigators or even any aftermarket one. The first reason why I think you should get one of these is that you can walk away from it. And what I mean by that is that if you park your GS somewhere, so if you go to a cafe or you go to a town or you just get off your bike to go and have to walk away from your bike and leave it, the connected ride cradle for me looks like a phone holder that's empty. It looks like there's something supposed to be in it, but it's been taken out. If you have a sat nav on your bike, when you walk away from it, you could end up worrying about whether somebody's gonna try and pinch it. And it looks like a sat nav as well. So when you, if you leave it somewhere and there's any wrongs knocking about, they're more likely to try and prize a black screen looking device out of that than they are a cradle that to the untrained eye just looks like a phone holder. So the second reason is that it allows you to use your phone. I think that's that's quite a big one. Um, and for me, it kind of makes sense that you would want to do that over using a sat-nav for simple reasons that when you use a sat-nav, so if you use a navigator from BMW, which basically is a Garmin, I think, when you use that, you have to use their maps. Whereas if you use your phone, you can use Waze, you can use Apple Maps, you can use Google Maps, you can use whatever you want. It's up to you which one you want to use. When you buy the sat-nav, you have to use their software and there's no other real option. The other thing with using your phone as well is that you're always upgrading your hardware of your phone. So every couple of years, most people will trade the phone in and get a new phone. But when you buy a sat-nav, you're stuck with it. You have to just keep loading new maps onto it. So you're not really replacing the, the stuff that's in there. And for that reason, I prefer to use the connected ride cradle of my phone over anything else. So the third reason, and this one's not so much of a big deal, and it only really applies if you've got an older GS, one with analog clocks on it, as opposed to uh, the new TFT dash. And that's this wheel that's on your handlebars. So if you've not got anything on your bike, so if you've not got a sat nav on it, or you've not got something here, this wheel does nothing, absolutely nothing. It's literally just there for the laugh. When you use the connected ride cradle, if you download the connected app onto your phone, it means that you can control the maps and everything on your phone through the wheel on the front of your bike. Oh, and it charges your phone as well. So it's got um, wireless charging on it. So that's it. That's why I would rather use a connected cradle. You know, it charges your phone. You can have your phone up in front of you as well. So if you listen to music or something on your phone while you're riding, it's there. You can do what you need to do. You can use whichever maps you want. You don't have to stick to um, BMW's custom maps. If you don't like the interface or if it starts to become a bit slow on the old um, sat navs, you don't have to worry. I think there's a USB port on the side of it as well. So you could run a cable and charge it. So if your phone doesn't have wireless charging, it doesn't matter. You could still run a cable to it. And yeah, it bolts into the side and it locks down. I think I need to wild the centre stand.